we present a system for interactive manipulation of two-dimensional shapes. A typical approach to shape deformation is to deform the space in which a shape is embedded. With this approach, it is often difficult to preserve the original shape. Mass spring models attempt to maintain the original shape, but they are too slow to produce a responsive motion and may become unstable. Our method applies an as rigid as possible deformation and returns the result immediately. One can add multiple constraints anywhere and manipulate them interactively. Here is an example of image manipulation. Our system gives the impression of manipulating a real object. Internally, we are applying a deformation algorithm to the triangle mesh. Our system lets the user perform this kind of manipulation with no explicit skeletal structure. Again, the shape is triangulated internally. You can deform the entire body by manipulating an inner vertex. This can be difficult using a mass spring method. Squash and stretch are also more natural with space warp methods. Our algorithm consists of two steps. The first step returns the general position and orientation desired, but the scale is wrong. Stretched regions grow and squashed regions shrink. The second step adjusts the scale, producing a very natural result that behaves like real rubber. Without appropriate depth adjustment, overlapping regions may interfere with each other. We detect overlapping regions on the fly and adjust their depth appropriately. Since important regions, like this head, may collapse, we can add weights to the vertices in the region to make it more rigid. Here, we assign poses to positions in space. By blending the poses near the control cursor, we can generate an interesting motion. We can also edit curves. Without scale adjustment, the curve grows and shrinks, but does not exhibit the rigidity we want. With scale adjustment, the curve appears more rigid and behaves like a real wire. Our peeling interface allows the user to dynamically adjust the influence region. The further the user pulls, the larger the region that deforms. The user can also explicitly specify the region to deform. Here we test two-handed operation using a pair of mice on a Wacom tablet. We can detect multiple touch points using a smart scan touchpad. Users can move and bend the drawings with their fingers as though manipulating real-world flexible objects. Controlling several degrees of freedom at once allows for expressive performance animation.